So someone challenged me to produce a track without using my MIDI keyboard because in my latest videos I've been using my Arturia Mini Lab to use it to compose like chords and bass lines and everything but in this video today i'm just going to be using the computer keyboard so that's what i'm going to do and i haven't just produced using only exclusively the computer keyboard without a midi keyboard so it's going to be super interesting so i'm going to go ahead and disconnect my midi keyboard right here and then i'm going to put it all the way over there so now I just have my computer keyboard. That's the only one that I'm going to use. And I'm just going to be using mouse and keyboard to create this track. One thing he didn't really say that breaks the rules is how I can use just this keyboard here. And when it comes to like the computer keyboard, what you can do in FL Studio is that you can turn this to play chords and keys. So I'm just going to come up here and activate that typing uh, keyboard to piano. So if I load up something like let's say a morphine right here I can use it to play keys <laughs> so I'm gonna do that and let's see what sound I can pick I can go into keyboards and I can pick maybe the soft keys There we go. So now I have chords and I'm using this keyboard, bro. <laughs> How cool is that? So now what I need to do is add a bass line. So next what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into flex and I'm going to go into my favorites and that there and I think I want to add some reverb to this sound here so I'm gonna turn on the reverb and I'm gonna send it to an EQ like that and I'm gonna clone that that preset there. Okay, now time to add some bass. that note short so I think I've got my bass line there I'm just going to transpose down Like that that doo -doo 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 -doo. Uh, these notes that are right here okay so I'm gonna split by channel make sure that everything is in its own in its own channel like that and then next I am going to add maybe a toxic biohazard
something like that that's just gonna repeat change this flanger side to a reverb. And now I think I can move on to some drums. I'm going to go into my Deep House sample pack and I think I'll add a clap first. I think I'll add that one. So the link to this drum kit is down below. And then now I'm gonna open my channel rack. I think I'm gonna layer this sound and then pan these left and right. And I think I'm gonna add that one there like that. Just to add some energy to the track, just like that and go into symbols. Throw that crash there. I'm going to create a new pattern and then I'm going to throw in this next symbol here. Throw in a kick. So I'm gonna throw on a flex and I'm gonna see if I can load up something like a lead sound. Ooh, that is too loud. I think that would work. So you can actually play a nice lead with the computer keyboard. I think I'll quantize these, so I'm just gonna make sure I am quantize them. And I'm gonna add some reverb. I don't like that note there, so I'm gonna change it. So now let's listen to the final track as I made it. We're just using my computer keyboard to compose. So if you don't have a MIDI keyboard, it's no excuse. You can still compose amazing music with your computer keyboard. So let's play it back. And before we do that, make sure to drop this video a like and also subscribe if you're new here.
So there you have it. I showed you how you can make a beat without actually using your MIDI keyboard. So if you don't have a MIDI keyboard, you can still produce really nice music. So you don't really need to have a MIDI keyboard to compose music. A lot of people are just using just their laptops and you can also use just your computer typing keyboard if you want to produce music. It's nothing like that that you can use as an excuse not to make nice music. A MIDI keyboard is there, yes, but it's just a tool. And let me know down below what kind of other handicap you want to throw at me that you might want me to maybe produce something without using it. Because another thing is also, this also has a trackpad. Maybe if you want to see me, just use the trackpad and not use the mouse to produce. And also I'll make sure that you can be able to download this project file if you want it in the link down below so check the link down below to download this project and study it and just play around with it if you want to remix it or anything like that and before you do that make sure to like this video and also subscribe to the channel and share this video with your friends so that they can see what's good up here and help us support we're trying to get to 100k and i'll really appreciate it if you help us get there by asking your friends to subscribe and i'll see you in the next one i'm x and i'm out check out this next video that's on screen right now so you continue watching more of my video. I'll see you in my next one. Peace.